Chapter 14 And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering. Of every man that gives it willingly with his heart, you shall take my offering. And this is the offering which you shall take of them, gold, and silver, and brass, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair, and ram skins dyed red, and badger skins, and shittim wood, oil for the light, spices for anointing oil, and for sweet incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate. And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them. According to all that I show you after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall you make it. And they shall make an ark of shittim wood, two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. And you shall overlay it with pure gold, within and without shall you overlay it, and shall make upon it a molding of gold round about. And you shall cast four rings of gold for it, and put them in the four corners thereof. And two rings shall be in the one side of it, and two rings in the other side of it. And you shall make staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold. And you shall put the staves into the rings by the sides of the ark, that the ark may be borne with them. The staves shall be in the rings of the ark, they shall not be taken from it. And you shall put into the ark the testimony which I shall give you. And you shall make a mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof. And you shall make two cherubim of gold, of beaten work shall you make them, in the two ends of the mercy seat. And make one cherub on the one end, and the other cherub on the other end. Even of the mercy seat shall you make the cherubim on the two ends thereof. And the cherubim shall stretch forth their wings on high, covering the mercy seat with their wings, and their faces shall look one to another. Toward the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubim be. And you shall put the mercy seat above, upon the ark, and in the ark you shall put the testimony that I shall give you. And there I will meet with you, and I will speak with you from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim which are upon the ark of the testimony of all things which I will give you in commandment unto the children of Israel. You shall also make a table of shittim wood, two cubits shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. And you shall overlay it with pure gold, and make for it a molding of gold round about. And you shall make unto it a border of a handbreadth round about, and you shall make a golden molding to the border thereof round about. And you shall make for it four rings of gold, and put the rings in the four corners that are on the four feet thereof. Close to the border shall the rings be, for places of the staves to bear the table. And you shall make the staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold, that the table may be borne with them. And you shall make the dishes thereof, and spoons thereof, and covers thereof, and bowls thereof, to cover with, of pure gold shall you make them. And you shall set upon the table showbread before me always. And you shall make a candlestick of pure gold, of beaten work shall the candlestick be made. His shaft, and his branches, his bowls, his buds, and his flowers shall be of the same. And six branches shall come out of the sides of it, three branches of the candlestick out of the one side, and three branches of the candlestick out of the other side. Three bowls made like unto almonds with a bud and a flower in one branch, and three bowls made like almonds in the other branch, with a bud and a flower, so in the six branches that come out of the candlestick. And in the candlestick shall be four bowls made like unto almonds with their buds and their flowers. And there shall be a bud under two branches of the same, and a bud under two branches of the same, and a bud under two branches of the same, according to the six branches that proceed out of the candlestick. Their buds and their branches shall be of the same. All of it shall be one beaten work of pure gold. And you shall make the seven lamps thereof. And they shall light the lamps thereof, that they may give light in front of it. And the tongs thereof and the snuff dishes thereof shall be of pure gold. Of a talent of pure gold shall he make it, 
with all these vessels. And look that you make them after their pattern which was shown you in the mount. Moreover, you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twined linen, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, with cherubim of skillful work shall you make them. The length of one curtain shall be twenty-eight cubits, and the breadth of one curtain four cubits. And every one of the curtains shall have one measure. The five curtains shall be coupled together one to another, and other five curtains shall be coupled one to another. And you shall make loops of blue upon the edge of the one curtain, from the selvage, in the coupling. And likewise shall you make in the outermost edge of another curtain, in the coupling of the second. Fifty loops shall you make in the one curtain, and fifty loops shall you make in the edge of the curtain that is in the coupling of the second, that the loops may take hold one of another. And you shall make fifty clasps of gold, and couple the curtains together with the clasps, and it shall be one tabernacle. And you shall make curtains of goat's hair to be a covering upon the tabernacle. Eleven curtains shall you make. The length of one curtain shall be thirty cubits, and the breadth of one curtain four cubits. And the eleven curtains shall be all of one measure. And you shall couple five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves, and shall double the sixth curtain in the forefront of the tabernacle. And you shall make fifty loops on the edge of the one curtain that is outermost, in the coupling, and fifty loops in the edge of the curtain which couples the second. And you shall make fifty clasps of brass, and put the clasps into the loops, and couple the tent together, that it may be one. And the remnant that remains of the curtains of the tent, the half curtain that remains, shall hang over the backside of the tabernacle. And a cubit on the one side, and a cubit on the other side of that which remains in the length of the curtains of the tent, it shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle on this side, and on that side, to cover it. And you shall make a covering for the tent of ram skins dyed red, and a covering above of badger skins. And you shall make boards for the tabernacle of Shittim with standing up. Ten cubits shall be the length of a board, and a cubit and a half shall be the breadth of one board. Two tenons shall there be in one board, set in order one against another. Thus shall you make for all the boards of the tabernacle. And you shall make the boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards on the south side southward. And you shall make forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards, two sockets under one board for his two tenons, and two sockets under another board for his two tenons. And for the second side of the tabernacle, on the north side, there shall be twenty boards and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board and two sockets under another board. And for the sides of the tabernacle westward, you shall make six boards. And two boards shall you make for the corners of the tabernacle in the two sides. And they shall be coupled together beneath, and they shall be coupled together above the head of it, unto one ring. Thus shall it be for them both. They shall be for the two corners. And they shall be eight boards, and their sockets of silver, sixteen sockets, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. And you shall make bars of shittim wood, five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the side of the tabernacle, for the two sides westward. And the middle bar in the middle of the boards shall reach from end to end. And you shall overlay the boards with gold, and make their rings of gold, for places for the bars. And you shall overlay the bars with gold. And you shall rear up the tabernacle according to the fashion thereof which was shown you in the mount. And you shall make a veil of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen of skillful work, with cherubim shall it be made. And you shall hang it upon four pillars of shittim wood overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold upon the four sockets of silver. And you shall hang up the veil under the clasps, that you may bring in there, within the veil, the ark of the testimony. And the veil shall divide unto you between the holy place and the most holy. And you shall put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony in the most holy place. And you shall set the table outside the veil, 
and the candlestick opposite the table, on the side of the tabernacle toward the south. And you shall put the table on the north side. And you shall make a hanging for the door of the tent of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen wrought with needlework. And you shall make for the hanging five pillars of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold. And their hooks shall be of gold. And you shall cast five sockets of brass for them. And you shall make an altar of shittim wood, five cubits long and five cubits broad. The altar shall be square. And the height thereof shall be three cubits. And you shall make the horns of it upon the four corners thereof. His horn shall be of the same, and you shall overlay it with brass, and you shall make his pans to receive his ashes, and his shovels, and his basins, and his forks, and his firepans, all the vessels thereof, you shall make of brass, and you shall make for it a grate of network of brass, and upon the net shall you make four brazen rings in the four corners thereof. And you shall put it under the rim of the altar beneath, that the net may be even to the center of the altar. And you shall make staves for the altar, staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with brass. And the staves shall be put into the rings, and the staves shall be upon the two sides of the altar, to bear it. Hollow with boards shall you make it. As it was shown you in the mount, so shall you make it. And you shall make the court of the tabernacle, for the south side southward, there shall be hangings for the court of fine twined linen, of a hundred cubits long for one side. And the twenty pillars thereof and their twenty sockets shall be of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. And likewise for the north side, in length there shall be hangings of a hundred cubits long, and his twenty pillars and their twenty sockets of brass, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. And for the breadth of the cord on the west side shall be hangings of fifty cubits, their pillars ten and their sockets ten. And the breadth of the cord on the east side eastward shall be fifty cubits. The hangings of one side of the gate shall be fifteen cubits, their pillars three and their sockets three. And on the other side shall be hangings fifteen cubits, their pillars three and their sockets three. And for the gate of the court shall be a hanging of twenty cubits, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen wrought with needlework. And their pillars shall be four, and their sockets four. All the pillars round about the court shall be filleted with silver. Their hooks shall be of silver, and their sockets of brass. The length of the court shall be a hundred cubits, and the breadth fifty everywhere, and the height five cubits of fine twined linen, and their sockets of brass. All the vessels of the tabernacle, and all the service thereof, and all the pins thereof, and all the pins of the court shall be of brass. And you shall command the children of Israel that they bring you pure oil of beaten olives for the light, to cause the lamp to burn always. In the tabernacle of the congregation outside the veil, which is before the testimony, Aaron and his sons shall order it from evening to morning before the Lord. It shall be a statute forever unto their generations on the behalf of the children of Israel.